So I wanted to tell you guys this story really quickly before I forget because I probably will just happen I walked to the corner store and um, while I was walking there this guy looked at me and he was like hi how are you doing I was like I'm good how are you whatever I went into the corner store and I came back and he's still standing outside and then he says I like your hair and before I can even say thank you he said where did you get it from and like it took me by surprise for a second I just stopped I'm like where did I get it from he's like um is that Remy I was like no I said this is my hair I said this is all mine <laughs> and then he goes oh okay he's like the reason I asked is because I have an online store and I saw all types of hair including types of like Remy and stuff I was like okay I was like but this is I said this is all my hair <laughs> and then he <laughs> Hold on, I'm laughing now, but at the time I was like in shock. And then he goes, he's like, well, if you would like to take a look at it anytime you could. I'm like, I was like, yeah, I, I could, but I haven't had a weave or anything in a few years. He's like, oh, okay. Like for some reason he thought like I was lying or something. And then I said, this is all mine. I had to tell him three times. I'm like, this is all my hair in order for it to sink in his brain that I'm not wearing any Remy hair like this is the actual hair growing out of my scalp and then that's when he finally like let me go when he realized I was probably telling the truth I don't know if he thought I was I don't know why would he think I was lying and I don't think my hair looks fake but anyways it just so happened that another girl who had dreads was walking right in front of me and she heard the whole thing and when she, when we both walked away she what, like she kind of like slowed down to talk to me and she was rolling her eyes she's like why is it so hard to believe that that's your real hair she's like it looks real why would he just make that type of assumption <laughs> I was like I don't know I guess they just automatically assume that all black girls have fake hair or something she was she was more annoyed than I was and she's rolling her eyes and everything she's like I can't believe he even asked you that like your hair clearly looked real <laughs> And then she, I guess she probably went through the same thing too. Because she, her dreads are about my length and stuff too. So I'm pretty sure she probably was going through that for the same amount of years I've been going through it. But, I mean, I've got asked that question before. But I've never been asked it that way. Like, he was almost like doubting me. Like, he thought I was lying to him when I said that it, it's mine. And the fact that I had to reiterate it to him three times that it's mine was just like so bizarre and it had to have been bad enough for someone else to notice and also comment on it and also get annoyed by the way he approached me on it but yeah that's it um I just wanted to tell you that story before I forgot it because Every time someone asks me like a dread, like to tell a dreadlock story or something about my hair and I always forget it, this is the moment. Just pull my camera out since I'm always walking around with it, right? <laughs> Bye, perps. I'm very serious about their locks, especially here on YouTube. But I feel like I owe it to you guys to let you guys know. I don't want to just like show up like in my videos with like no dreads in. Um, I decided just to cut it off 